Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS SDTM programming. In this video, we will see how to easily remember the content and variables in SDTM MH domain. So let's say there is a clinical trial in which a subject is participating and the subject has arrived at the clinical site investigator and then the investigator is performing some assessments on screening visit and then medical history is part of that assessment. So in which, so the medical history is being collected in two different sections. One is specifically asking if the subject has any diabetes history and other any other general medical history conditions. So here in the first case, so the investigator is checking whether the subject has any diabetes history and in that the subject uh, being asked whether do you have diabetes. So for which the subject may say as yes or no or unknown. Sometimes what could happen is the investigator may miss to or uh, fail to ask this question in that case so it will be marked as not done so which means that the diabetic history question was not checked for and if it is not done so they would capture the reason why that is not done. So if it occurred so either the value will be yes no or unknown or whether the question itself is not being asked for diabetes. So let's say if they say yes so the follow-up questions would be the start date of the diabetes and then if it is if it has ended then the end date or whether if it is ongoing so the, the information related to the start end and ongoing condition for diabetes is being captured and then similarly after the specific diabetes history the investigator let's say is checking for any general medical history which is reported by the subject so after checking this question the investigator may ask like do you have any other medical history conditions so which may impact uh, or uh, the clinical trial as a in whole so let's say for that general medical history question the patient might have reported saying that he or she might have had hypertension so then they would make a note of it and then the follow-up questions would be like when did it actually start whether it is ongoing if it is ongoing uh, so we'll have questions like uh, with, if it is ongoing then we would capture it as is yes. and if they say it is not always ongoing then we would capture the end date. So we will now see what will be the variable that will be used to capture all this information. So in medical history we report one row for each of the conditions. So if say for example if the subject reported another conditions like some uh, gastric ulcer. So we would have one row for diabetes, one row for hypertension and one additional row for that uh, gastric ulcer. So similarly if a subject reported 10 other conditions so we would have 10 rows. So let's now try to identify the variables. So we know that every clinical trial would be identified with a identification number and we store that in a variable called study id. So we store that in a variable called study id and then we store the subject number in a variable called u subject id u subject id and then we do not store the investigator name or details in sdtm ms domain but we store it at subject level in sdtm dm domain so let's say this screening is done at a particular date so we capture that date of screening on which the medical history examination is being performed in a variable called msdtc the date when the collection is being made and then so we are examining medical history so we know that uh, there is a variable called domain in each of the HDTM data sets and we populate the domain variable with the value of MH because the data that is presented is medical history so we would populate the domain variable and use the abbreviation MH in that variable so here we have seen that there are two conditions the history is being collected in two different ways one is specific history which is related to diabetes and the second one is general so what do we do is we store the information whether it is diabetes history or general medical history in a variable called mh cat so mh category is used to distinguish whether the information is collected specifically to diabetes history or general medical history and then here the term actual the medical condition as reported so we would store that information in a variable called mh term so similarly hypertension would also go in a variable called mh term so here for diabetes history so the 
question was specifically asked whether you have it or not so we have a variable called mh presp so which means that when we are specifically asking for a specific medical history so we indicate it as y in a variable called mh presp which is which stands for pre specified medical history so if we'll populate it as y for this diabetes history because we are explicitly asking whether the subject has diabetes or not and there the subject may even report as having no so we indicate that as y and this information whether the subject may report it as yes no or unknown that information we store in a variable called mh occur so we'll have to read this mh occur value along with the pre specified value so how do we read it so uh, for every subject we'll have this diabetes history record so we, it's a pre specified record and whether the diabetes uh, subject has diabetes or not would be present in a variable called mh occur yes no or unknown and let's say for one sub one of the subjects the medical history related to diabetes was that question was not asked so where do we store that information we have this variable called mh stat so to indicate whether it is done or not so if it is not done so we will populate the variable mh stat and put the text not done in it and if it is not done so the reason would be collected and that reason for why the medical history question related to diabetes is not asked would be put in a variable called mh as this is related to medical history so uh, medical history reason not done so why the medical history is not collected which is pre specified so we do not have these variables pre specified occur stat and res not done for the general medical history because it, they would be a record for only if it is present so but for diabetes we will have a record even if a subject has it as no but we are making sure that it is captured as no in mh occur variable and then we have start date so for all the start dates so we will have st and as this is a date variable and this would end in dtc as this is medical history start date so we would use mhst dtc and if it ended so we know that as this is a date variable we'll have it as dtc as this corresponds to end so we will have en as this is a medical history end date we use mh en dtc so if it is ongoing so which means the date when it is collected is on this particular date indicated in mh dtc so we will know whether the event is ongoing or not on this particular date so we use two sets of one set of variables one is mh end related to time point so end related to time point mh end related to time point so what is the time point that we are using so we are referring uh, we are saying whether the event or the medical history is ongoing or not in terms of the value present in mh dtc so that value we would keep in a variable called mh en tpt so we would say it as ongoing on the date reported here in mh dtc so if it is ongoing the value ongoing would be put in mh en rtpt and the date value on when which the medical history is collected will be put in this variable called mh en tpt so next we'll see the if there are any additional variables that would be required for general medical history so we have hypertension so or the general medical history term reported would go and sit in ms term only and we have already identified that for start date we use the variable mhst dtc and then for if it is ongoing so we would indicate it in uh, one pair of variables so mh en rtpt and mh en tpt and for end date so we have already seen that the variable that would be needed is mh en dtc so these are some of the important variables in sdtm mh domain so we have study id u sub jd mh dtc domain mh cat mh term whether it is pre specified if it is pre specified whether it occurred or not and whether that question is asked or not is going into mh stat and if it is not done why the reason uh, it is not done it goes into a variable called mh res nd 
and the start date goes into MHSTDTC and date goes into MHENDTC and if it is ongoing two pairs uh, two variables MHENRTPT and MHENTPT would be used to populate. So this is how you can easily remember the content and the variables in HDTM MS domain. Thank you for watching. Keep learning.